there's a lot of extra games out there, especially for adults in gyms where they have these bikes and they can go in these virtual terrains. The biggest thing with these games is that they get boring after a while. Most kids play games because there's something that draws them to it back over and over and over, right? They get immersed in it, they get are captivated by it. And then we, we started thinking about it and we thought, well, maybe we can take some games that are out there that are open source and we can mod it. Mod it in a sense that we allow the exercise equipment to run the game, to drive the game, and then to keep the kids motivated for their goals is to basically create rewards in the game for achieving these rewards. And that's how we started off with the Minecraft, because we're targeting kids and we thought that, and it's also open source. And the parents don't mind it, it's a supposedly intellectual game. And so we, we started with this whole game thing. My name is Yoon Ho Ha, I'm a second year PhD student. This is an off-the-shelf uh, exercise bike. We tear it apart and look inside, make it as a game controller. What we did was making a game modding that actually enables a fitness progresses, which will understand like a paddling and the heart rates and other uh, sensor data. So this is the uh, initial prototype, but we realized the game controller should be very, very precise. This is off-the-shelf heart rate monitor, and if I wear it, it's communicating with the sensors. And the whole goal of this in particular, this program, is to raise the heart rate and they have to keep it at a certain rate for every 24 hours they have to achieve it for a certain amount of time. So that's what we're working on right now and that's the hardest part actually. The game always has to stay fun. As soon as a kid realizes it's they're doing a game for a purpose, they tend to lose uh, interest. And so what we're trying to create now is have the actual exercise requirements translated into very natural quests in the game. I met somebody who was working in the pediatrics group. And they said, wow, this might be something interesting for kids because we have these kids are recovering from leukemia and are tend to be very weak and they need to go through a rehab pro a program. So I said, well, games might motivate them to do it. it seems the most obvious re way to go is to either get licenses or open source and, uh, and not, not the games, so that's what we're doing.